and welcome back to my channel uh this is a new setup because i just figured i would do a little intro into this video and i'm not in my normal um seating area where i normally do my videos however this is my first shot my first take at a reading vlog um i hope you enjoy it i realized that vlogging was a lot harder than i thought it was going to be so it's not a lot of like b-roll or like extra footage a lot of it is just me talking about the book and what i thought of the book um i did end up reading it ends with us uh, by colleen hoover and it was quite a ride it was quite a ride uh, at the beginning of the vlog i was planning on doing november 9 and it ends with us but i just did it ends with us um i finished it on when tuesday night and it's now sunday um so that gives you a little timeline of when I finished it but um yeah I will roll the footage now and I will uh, come back and tell you guys my thoughts of the entire book. Hi guys uh I am going to be trying to do this vlog I don't know how it's gonna go I'm a mess when it comes to vlogs sorry for the lighting I'm just using natural lighting from the windows my sister is in her room editing a video for our channel that we do together. Um, if you guys are interested in movies, we have a movie channel. I will link it down below. Here she is. Um, but in this vlog, it's actually, what's today's date? The, 20, the 22nd. The 22nd. So this is Sunday and this morning I just went to church. I'm gonna enter in some clips that I took of church today. you want to do a reading vlog with me okay you don't like my book let me know down below do any of you guys read the harlequin different book series whether it's what are they love inspired love inspired, love inspired suspense uh there's intrigue there's dare there's uh present special edition kiss romance heartwarming heartwarming and medical I'm, medical yeah i'm There's, missing some more but but she really wants me to read some of her harlequin books and i'm always just like no so you guys have to let me know would you want me to do like a reading vlog where we like both read them together and i let you guys know what i think or of them start. or just me read them and you guys and i'll tell you what i think about them will i ever read them again but <laughs> let me know down below I think like some of them I don't know. I know you won't like the, the Love Inspired, but I think you'll like the other ones. Maybe. Because you have a certain taste. And she has no taste. I'm just kidding. I'm oh kidding. I'm kidding. It's very minimal. Your taste it's is very minimal. Yeah, like she don't like no spice. I'm concerned of your not. Is that the right word? Conservative. Conservative, <laughs> yes. Yeah, conservative. You're just no spice. On a scale from like a hot chili pepper. No. <laughs> um, it's Growing Pains Leo to Wolf of Wall Street Leo. You are Growing Pains Leo. Oh, well, thank you. You're welcome. Like your taste in books. No spice. Just sweet. I have read your books. She skips them. Some of them. They're not that bad. Yeah. Yeah. Which ones have you read that you didn't skip? Uh, I think Christine Lawrence. Yes. Well, they are like a minimal mm -hmm. of, of spice. And then 
you have to skip the whole book of like birthday well now you can get like 200 <laughs> and some pages into birthday girl and then you have to skip a whole lot but yeah, yeah. so let us know down below let me know because it's my video i'm not with her in this i'm sorry <laughs> I'm, I'm so used to like if we're together it's for our other channel but i will link the other channel down below if you're interested in like movies and reactions and stuff like that um but let me know down below if you want to see that vlog well i'm gonna go in my room okay now. you're gonna finish uh, editing i'm gonna finish the editing okay. okay okay bye but yes whoa you just took all my light away whoa set move oh the rain light fancy oh that's a little better a little better but anyway um for this vlog i'm gonna be reading two colleen hoover books um i started it ends with us last night and we're gonna see if i cry because i'm having a feeling that i'm not gonna cry two days later oh, i'm a mess but everyone says they cry but i just have a feeling i'm not going to it really takes a book a lot to make me cry so we'll see like i said i just started it yesterday like last night a little bit i read like the first chapter so I just met like the two main characters, Riley and Lily. So I will let you know what I think about it a little later on when I've read more of the book. Okay guys, so it's later. Um, I got my bath, my hair is up. So the book, right here. Um, I am now 40 pages in. So I'm going on to chapter three. And so far we know about Lily. And do you say Ryle or Riley? Because I don't like the name Ryle. <laughs> that sounds weird to me. Um, so I kind of just want to call him Riley, and I think I might, so there's that. Um, but they met on the rooftop, and now, um, she is, like, looking through letters, not letters, but, like, her old diary and things like that, and she's talking about Atlas, who I know is going to come back into the picture. Sorry for the light, but, like, girls gotta see, okay? Um... But yeah, so I know he's gonna come back into the picture and everything. So that's about as far as I have right now. But what I am gonna do is I'm going to put in my little note card at the beginning of the book um, about like what each um, flag stands for in the book. Cause I like, I am in the process of annotating books as I read them now, but it's going, I'm just beginning, it's going. So I just use like little sticky note tabs, to, like mark in places that I like, so. I'm going to do that now. I'm watching Nine Perfect Strangers on Hulu. I've never read the book, but I'm just going to watch it anyway. I have the book. I just haven't read it. But um, once I'm done doing that little book um, insert at the beginning, I will show you guys what it looks like. was just cleaning doing dishes and it's hot in the kitchen so that's why the air is on if you can hear it I'm sorry but I have bookish I have bookish mail and I have book mail so I figured I would open it to show you guys what I got I don't know what's in this um like I said I do that like random act of kindness group on Instagram 
So this is from Nat. If I could open it, it would be great. Okay. And there's that. Is there a note? There's a note. Don't want that note. Tells me what it is. Here it is. Happy random act of kindness through a bookish wish list. I hope you enjoy this one. It's on my TBR bookshelf also from Mountain Mama's, Mountain Mama's Reads. Her name is Cindy. <laughs> okay, and it is, I don't wanna look at it. You guys look at it first. What is it? What is it? Ooh, The Girl in the Mirror, which means it's a thriller. Yay! Okay, thriller, scary, scary. Don't be scary though, okay? We can be just be thriller even not scary. Okay, so yay. Let me know down below if you've ever read this, what you think of it. And then this, I know what this is because I ordered it. Um, I follow a small business on Instagram called Emily Cromwell Designs and she does all like bookish merchandise. Um, so this is a coloring book, but it's all around, you know, book things. And she always puts like your little name on it. It's so cute. That's my name if you didn't know. Okay. <laughs> A lot of But yeah, I'm going to use my scissors to open it. Okay. And we have, here it is. My weekend is all booked, a coloring book for bookworms and just some of the pictures. So we have this, we have this, but yeah, I love her shop. Um, I get a lot of things. She does like a monthly bookmark or monthly sticker club and you don't have to subscribe. You can just get it every month if you want. So you can skip a month if you don't like the designs for the stickers. But this one is for September's. Um, it's fall themed and I love it and I got it. I love her stuff. Go check her out. I will leave her link down below, her Instagram and then her just regular shop. It is so good. But yeah, that's all the book mail that I received. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I got. I'm gonna put this stuff away. I'm gonna put some laundry away and then I'm gonna come back and tell you guys a little bit more about It Ends With Us, like how far I got. Uh, yeah. talk to you guys it was Monday was it Monday it was Monday because I did my book mail it is now Wednesday now okay um I never said I was a good vlogger I just said I was a vlogger um so let's talk about this book I am now 255 pages into this book and I've been tabbing um it's a heavy book Sorry if you can hear my air, but it's hot and the air has to be on. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, this book. I, I don't want to do like any kind of like, spo I don't want to do spoilers in this vlog. So I'm not going to like say what has happened. Um, but you know how like you are reading a book and you kind of like, you know, you're getting to something like important. So you just kind of like skip ahead a little bit. You, just, you know, you just kind of snip, bit, snip, snip, snip ahead. Okay, that's what I did. 
and I feel like I'm getting to a very like penultimate scene like it's it's gonna be bad um so I figured I would come on here and talk about what I read so far before I read that scene because I'm not mentally prepared uh I feel like um so trigger warnings for this book for DV which is domestic violence um rape marital rape uh is it you know what it doesn't matter if you're married or not it's still rape so like I, I I just see rape as rape and it doesn't matter if you're married or not she says no it means no um but yeah those are heavy topics in this book um as someone who has known someone who has dealt with DV um I think it it's done really well uh my cousin uh, many, many years ago was a victim of domestic violence. And, um, uh, unfortunately she did not make it out of the relationship. Uh, and he, he took her life. Um, and he left four little children behind and she didn't get to see them grow up. So, um, I'm going to link down below, uh, the website for domestic violence it's you know a helpline hotline you can get information um they do have like a safety on their website so where like it won't be any history on your computer and if you need to like exit out of it immediately there's always like a place on the um the web page where you can like exit out of it so no one can see what you're doing um really fast so if you or someone you know needs it please pass it along because it is very it's, it's important and it's something that people deal with and a lot of times they deal with it alone whether or not they feel like they can leave or not um just uh giving them support and knowing that they're they're loved and a lot because a lot of times uh the guy or the person i don't even want to say per guy but like the person in the relationship who's being the abuser will just tell all these lies like no one will love you if you leave you'll never find someone as good as me no one will ever want you blah 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 things like that and you just need to you just need to support that person and be there for them and you know keep like putting affirmations on them and be like you are loved you're special you're worthy things like that um because i mean all these this abuser does is just break them down break them down and it makes them feel like it's their fault and um so just being there for them. And I know this is a really heavy topic and I'm not one to ever like talk about like heavy, heavy topics on my channel because I like to keep it light. I like to keep it fun. But this book does not allow that. Um, this book, <sighs> this book really highlights like a, the cycle of abuse. And a lot of times that's what happens. Like this girl, you know, she grew up with her, her mom and her dad and her dad was abusive to her mom and she always swore, she, you know, she would grow up and never be that way, never get in a relationship like that. And then it happens. And now, you know, what does she do? She's staying. Um, when she said all her life, like she wasn't going to ever stay, but, um, she does. So that's as far as I am right now. Uh, I, I'm scared. Um, I haven't cried yet do i will i i don't know um atlas is so far my favorite character in the world in this book so um yeah but i do have some book mail so i'm going to share with uh share that with you guys as well i got this in the mail today don't know what it is um i do know it was it's for um the book things on Instagram that I'm a part of as always. So there's my card from the person and the book is, oh, Jar of Hearts, which if I'm not mistaken, is a thriller. And I just put this on. This is like new, not new as in came out, new as in it was new on my wish list. So, ooh, there's three parts. So four parts just three parts. I just skipped to something and it said part three, three parts. Okay. I do know, uh, what's this about? It says an explosive edge of your seat thriller about three friends, one murder and a whole world of secrets. So 
Okay, I'm excited. If you ever heard of this, let me know. Have you read it? Was it good? But yeah, yay, I'm excited. I'm getting so many thrillers for like October, September and October. I'm excited. Um, but now what I'm gonna do is, I, I guess I'm gonna prepare myself for this book. Actually, I need to film first. So I'm gonna film a, um, I'm starting a new like um, series on my channel where I talk about books and like different genres that I still have yet to read because <sighs> I'm bad. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start that. And I think I'm gonna start with romances that I still need to read. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna film it. I'm gonna edit it upload it and read some more of this book. I have like 100 pages left, I think. I'm pretty sure there's like 368, seven. So like 122, I think. Math's not my strong suit, but we'll see. We shall see. Okay, let's go. Okay, hi guys. Uh, so I read the scene that I thought was gonna be like really bad. And let's just say I hate, I hate Ryle. I hate him right now. That's all I can say. I need to process, but I just wanted to come on and let you guys know that I read that part and now I'm gonna keep reading. But right now he's crap and I love Atlas. Um, yeah, I will be back later. I don't know what to say, so I finished. I'm done. I'm done the book, okay. But I need to compose myself, so I'm going to go and I will talk to you guys tomorrow once I've thought about everything because that book was amazing and I just need, I need a moment. I need a moment. So uh, it was quite a ride, like I said. Um, I didn't think I was gonna cry, but I bawled like a baby, as you could see. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said before, I did end up reading November 9. I didn't put it in the blog. I just finished it yesterday, so Saturday night. And I started that Wednesday, like the day after I finished, it ends with us. I just didn't record any of it because I just, for one, I, I read it so fast and I was just like, getting it done. I enjoyed that one too. I gave it five stars, but I will talk more about that in my recent reads video, my reading wrap up. But this vlog was It Ends With Us and it was beautiful. It was beautifully written. It was heartbreaking. I loved it. Five out of five stars. Um, like I said, I think everyone would read it and take away something different. Uh, 
Do I think it's something that everyone should read? Absolutely. Um, go in being warned that it does deal with domestic violence. So uh, if that's a trigger for you or if that's something that you just can't handle, know that before going in. Um, but it was just so beautifully done. And it was so... So it was just, it was just, I don't, I am, I lost for words. I am speechless. Um, but because I think a lot of the times when you see something like that happen, um, whether it's a man abusing a woman, a woman abusing a man, whatever, um, the first thought always goes to like, you have like two thoughts. Like you're either like, well, that would never happen to me. I would never allow someone to treat me like that. I would never be put in that situation. Or two, you automatically judge the person that's being abused. Like, well, why aren't they leaving? Like, if that was me, I would leave, blah, blah, blah. And so this book just kind of gives you an insight into that person and being like, okay, like they know, they know they need to leave, but also there's like all these thoughts that they're having as well. Like, you know, the inner workings, why maybe they should stay. And, and it, it's, it was just so beautifully done. And like I said, in the blog, I have personal experience with this with my cousin. So it was just, it was nice to, Get, I feel like I got to know her a little bit better through this book and maybe why she felt like she couldn't leave or things like that. So, um, but yeah, like I said in the blog, I'm going to have some resources linked down below for anyone who needs them or if you need to give them to someone, um, just to let them know that they're not alone. And the support in this book, I absolutely love the side characters. I loved Alyssa. Alyssa is a supportive friend we all need in life. Absolutely. And Atlas is such a sweetheart and I absolutely loved him. And uh, this book was just a five out of five. So was November 9, but I'm not talking about that because it's not in this vlog. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading vlog. Let me know if you would like me to do more in the comments down below. Um, I enjoy doing it, but yeah, if you guys would like to see more, just let me know. And I will, I am going to do one this week though, um, because I'm finally, finally reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So you're going to want to come back to watch that because it's going to be a time. It's going to be a time. <laughs> but yeah, uh, all my social media is linked down below. If you'd like to follow me on Goodreads or Instagram, um, I would love to have you as part of the family, but I'll see you out on the next one. Bye guys.